Hello, welcome to Monstrosity. Short little game developed by SciBB, available on itch.io, and apparently, it's a game about raising your own SCP. Let's see what it's about. Start the game. And uh, I guess, I mean, I'm assuming, because this is a horror game, I'm assuming there's going to be, you know, horror elements, but I guess we'll see. Uh, please use login credentials to sign in. Hmm, okay. Um, I guess I'll just put slider. Why not? I'll just put my name, put my, my pseudonym. Greetings, slider. Your employee number is 223. Today you will begin your first day at in section. You'll be working with newest subject. Please read the guide to understand your daily goals. You'll work with the subject until 8 p.m. or it becomes too tired to work with. Open guide. All right. I must talk to it to find out what it is. I must feed it to keep it passive. I must play with it to keep it active and happy. I must clean it. Don't let it rot in filth and give it gifts to find out what it likes. All right. A happy monstrosity equals dollar signs. It is not your friend, though. Do not get attached. Write down all new info and good luck. Okay. So yeah, just like SCP, you know, what does SCP, SCP stand for again? It's like secure, containment, and I actually forget what the P stands for, but you know, SCP. Uh, take care working with the subject. Your pay depends on it. Good luck. I get paid. Protect, I think. Yeah, secure, contain, and protect. Welcome. Work hard today. All right. So again, it's like it's like a little like um, what do you call it? Tomogachi, I guess. I'm just observing it. I guess I should talk to it. Talk. Yes. Okay. Our little, you know, our little uh, cutie SCP has four legs. A cute dress though. A little, a little messy though. I don't know. It's, not, it's like tomato sauce. Anyway. Hello there. Hello there. What is your name? What's your name? Um, I'm Slider223. I add the number, I guess. That's just my label. It's nice to meet you, Slider223. Now what's, now what's your name? Huh? I give you my name. What's yours? I didn't say I give you my name. I don't know you very well. That's just rude. Mm, please give me your name. No, I don't wanna. Why not? Because if I give you my name, then you'll leave. Mm, I won't leave. You're a big fat liar, meanie. Well, that didn't go so well. I don't know if she, she's less happy now. Uh, well, let's see. Does she want anything? I don't know if she needs food. You want food? I can give her meat. Meat gives her extra happiness. A carrot gives her happiness, but also the red bar. I don't know what the red bars is. I assume health, maybe. Here, be happy. Feed it meat. It seems full. Okay, it doesn't want meat. Hmm. Want to play? Have a ball. Play with the ball. Play with the beach ball. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Writing down. You want any food? Eat the food. Nom. Eat a carrot. Good. Talk. Hello there. Hello there. Dodoro Kenobi. No, um... Okay, so I guess we have to restart the conversation. How, about, how are you? I'm okay, but I'm bored. You wanna play? Yeah, let's play! Alright, have a, have a beach ball. I throw the beach ball. Good. You happy? No? Anything else? Uh, I will push it. What do you want? I want to talk to you. Well, I'm not in the mood. Please. I said I don't want to. Alright. <laughs> I'm doing all the wrong things. Uh, you want a gift? I don't have anything, actually. Hmm. Sorry to clean. You want any food? Have some food. Yeah, I, I don't know what the red and... I guess happiness, though, is different from the blue. I thought the blue bar was related to the happiness, but I guess the happiness is just simply the, uh, the face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Nice hand. Any other one you want to high five? You want more food? Some meat? There you go. Hmm. She's just... She's just not very happy. Oh, now she's neutral. She's neutral. He's full, okay. So the red bar is going down, but you can't increase it because the blue bar is full. I don't know how that works. I'm not sure how that works. I don't know what these meters mean. Take a bath. Well, it's 12 p.m., I guess. Is it lunchtime? I, I, do, I do give her a lot of food. Talk some more. What's your name? What's your name? I'm Slider. Now what's your name? Well, now we go. Okay, let's get to know each other then. Okay. Have you been outside before? Yes. You know, I don't I don't go outside very often. But yes. No, um I was outside before this. I live in a nice little house in a nice little town. Okay, more questions. Uh what was the town like? It was empty. There's no one there but me and my house. But sometimes we had visitors. What happened to the visitors? They would sometimes come and go. Most would just pass by and not stop. But sometimes they would. And then what? And then we would play. What would you play exactly? They would come up to my house and go knock knock. Then I'd go who's there? But they were bad at it. They would just give me their name and sometimes they would lie. They were bad at their jokes. But then what would happen? I wouldn't open the door because they were boring. And then they would leave. Until this one person came. They told a very funny joke. So then I opened the door for them. Then they ran away. I think they told you guys because a little while later, you guys showed up to get me. I miss home. Well, you're never going back home because you're a danger to society. And we must keep you here to research you. That was what we must do. Ooh. You know, this game apparently is also inspired by, um, what was the game called? I never played it myself, but I saw some footage. It is uh, Lobotomy Corporation, I guess. That's also kind of like an SCP-inspired game. So, I mean, same thing. It's like you kind of like managing SCPs, right? Is the idea. I assume this is what this game is, you know, again, inspired by. Except it's like a, you know, it's cute. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't look at behind, you know, don't look at the face behind the bandages. Don't worry about it. Doesn't have like a monster face or anything. Totally. Here, play play with the ball. You happy? I'm gonna play with the ball some more. Wonder if she ever get bored of this, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, now she's happy. Um the red bar I guess goes down the more you play of her, I guess. It's kinda like stamina maybe. I'm assuming. I have some food. You gotta bounce the meters. You need clean? I always, always check just in case. Mm, what's your name? Okay, let's get to know each other then. A few times. Uh, what was your house like? It was a nice big house. I had lots and lots and lots of rooms I would play in all the time. There were a bunch of toys left behind, though I only liked some of them. But my favorite part was the front door. It was super big and made of this pretty dark wood. And it had all these fancy little things carved into the wood. I don't know what they're called, but they were pretty. Whenever I was alone, I liked to go downstairs to the door and put my hand on the door. And I'd go knock knock. And I liked the sound of knock knock, so I'd go knock knock. I liked the sound of it, so I, I am knock knock. You are knock knock then. Yes, my name is knock knock. Nice to meet you, Knock Knock. And that is her name. Knock Knock. Who's there? Hmm. Oh. Did I glitch it? <laughs> I kind of glitched it a little bit. Hmm. It seems to... Okay, so the story is like she's kind of... She lives in a mansion, maybe, is the idea? Of course, she mentioned as well that... one At, one, at some point, she did open the door... But the person ran away because they probably saw her, you know, true form or something. That's how she got captured. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
talk some more. I already, I already said what's your name, but I guess and the dialogue kind of repeats, I guess. Uh, let's get to know each other. Uh, who did you live with? It was just me. Everyone else's was gone. There used to be other people, but I didn't like them so much. They're gone now. Hmm. Okay. Whatever that means. Eat your veggies. Uh. That's kind of it. Okay, let's... One more. Uh, how are you? I'm happy. This place is nice. I get lots of food and get to play a lot. How are you? I'm not here to talk about meat nugget. Uh, I'm good. Is it because you're with me? Sure. Yay. I like that you're here too. Yay. That's good. Because we're going to be spending a, a long time here. Alright. Work rate A+. Plus. I got 100 bucks. Wow. Amazing. How long was that actually? That's a full shift for like a hundred bucks. That's like <laughs> less than minimum wage, I think. Uh, I don't know if it's worth working here, you know? But anyway, congratulations, Slider223, on a successful work day. Yeah, work for one day. You currently have a hundred credits. Ooh, okay. I can buy stuff with these credits, I guess. Employee store. It's max. Hi there, welcome to the employee store. Max has twin tails? Oh, uh, hi there. I hope work has been going well. Okay, that's it. Only small talk. I guess I can buy, I'm assuming buying gifts for our SCP friend. Hmm. I have to use my own money? You know, the company doesn't like pay for this? Come on. There's a doll. A dog. Hmm, I just wonder if she, she'll eat the dog, <laughs> but anyway. Blocks. Okay. They're pretty cheap, I guess, relatively. Special. Well, that's too much. That's, that's expensive. And what's this? Camera? 250. Alright, I'll buy her a flower. She'll like flowers, right? I think. Maybe. Cool. Thanks. Um, mm, I'll buy that for now. I'll, I'll, I'll save my money. I hope Nick isn't working today. He makes such a mess in the shopping break room. I always with the soda cans. Alright. Thank you for stopping by. After a long day of work, it's time to rest. You get yourself something to eat for dinner and have a relaxing evening. You should feel proud of yourself. You worked hard and survived the day. Good night. Oh, yes, to me. I'm gonna save the game. Wow. It's time for a new day. Off to work. Welcome. Work hard today. Alrighty. So 6 a.m. to like 8. That's like. Is that more than 12 hours? That's like, um, how long is that? Like, 14 hours? Unless I'm doing the math wrong? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, that's a long work day. Not, not even any breaks. Uh, how are you? I'm happy. How are you? I'm good. Yes, okay. I, I'm, I'm scared of choosing different options. You might get angry or something. You need cleaning? That's already clean. Hmm. You want a gift? Have a flower. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, she seems to like it. She seems to like it. Have some meat. Can't feed it, I guess. Oh yeah, because the red meter is full as well. Play. Happy. Have some food. Yay. I'm okay. Hope you think it's better. Alright. Um, yeah, okay, so for now it's just repeat. I, it doesn't seem there's any, like, new dialogue. So I'm not sure how to... Activate anything else. I guess I have to sp like, spend more money. Get more gifts. Try all the options, maybe. 
Well, I guess for now we just have to survive the day. <laughs> What's going on? She summoned a door? How does she do that? <laughs> How does she summon a door? Knock knock! Uh, who's there? Ha! Huh. Hal! Hal who? Hal will know if you don't open the door? How will you know if you don't open the door? Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Thanks. What a, what a good joke. Guess that's what she does. She's knock knock, you know? You can just summon doors, by the way. Is that just a power? She can just do that. It's crazy. I thought it was just a I thought it was a quirk of her house that she was able to like I'm well, not able to, but you know. Like she just talked about the door often. She was stuck in her house, but no she could just summon doors <laughs> randomly. Because why not? I think she was singing, actually. Play! Play with the beach ball. Do it. Do it. You clean? No. I always check. I already gave her the flower. Can I give it again, I guess? I have infinite flowers, I guess. The power of infinite flowers. Strange there was a static, by the way. Maybe it's like, you know, the idea is that if you give her the wrong gift, something bad might happen. I don't know. No give name. They can't have mine. Okay. <laughs> well, we already had that conversation, though. I don't know why we still have it. Observe. I must observe her. She's walking around with her four legs. Yeah, sad very, very quickly. She needs a lot of attention. I was just waiting for her to, you know, keep singing, but... Play with the ball. Eat. 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 Stuff your face. Play with the ball. Have a flower again. Did you get sick of getting flowers? I don't know. Mm -hmm. She seems good. Seems happy. How are you? Still happy. I'm not here to talk about me. You're a bad talking partner. Okay. <laughs> I'm just edgy, I guess. I suddenly got edgy. Oh, this again. You do a knock knock joke? Who's there? How? How will you know if you don't open the door? Alright. Hee hee. I don't give that. I shouldn't give her this. How would you heal her uh, red meter otherwise? I don't know. Play with the ball. Bouncy ball. Uh, hello, uh, Nanosis, by the way. I, I miss your comment, actually. I was too absorbed into the gameplay, I guess. You do no knock knock joke? It's almost my shift. The third time? Okay, I should feed her. Give her a flower? I'd like her to be happy at the end of the shift. I don't know if it matters, but I'll do that. But, uh, A plus. Oh, you want to dance for Vein Ascendance? Just finished watching uh, my VOD. Cool, thanks. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I tried out your game last week, was it? You know, it's pretty interesting. I mean, I played one of your other games, I think. Well, it depends if, you're, if you were involved in the um, the Toho Danganronpa kind of style game previously. But, yeah. Try out both games. And everything. I haven't put the the VOD on YouTube yet. I mean, I always, you know, this there's always this, I guess, cue 
you know, this backlog where I stream first and then I cut the footage up and then put it on YouTube. So it's gonna, it's gonna you know, it's always a bit of a delay. Oh, you made that one too. Okay. And you come to thank me for playing uh, the game since I happen to be live. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you're welcome, I guess. But also, like, thanks to you for, like, making the game. It was pretty interesting. I, I'm, I mean, I've re I guess if you already watched it, you already know my thoughts about it. But yeah, it was a pretty interesting game, I would say. Let's see. Uh, I guess I'll buy more stuff. Buy another doll. I guess if you buy it once, you have it forever. Buy the dog. You know, I guess I'll have. To, I guess I'll try everything and buy everything. Buy that. Yeah. And then these ones uh, cost way too much, so I have to save up. Save up my money. What is two hundred? There's actually a lot of other subjects in the building. I don't know where they keep finding them. I'm actually glad to work here in the shop. Those things we bring in are way too scary to work with. Okay, Max doesn't work with the subjects directly. Okay. After a long day of work, it's time to rest. You get yourself something to eat for dinner and have a relaxing evening. Feel proud of yourself. Okay. Same thing. Maybe a lot of, uh, I guess, a little repeats in this game. I wonder how you get like a, and I mean, I, I guess you get an ending by maybe doing various things, get an experiment, I guess. Work hard today. How are you today? Knock knock, which is I guess her name. I'm I'm bad. I'm bad to the bone. That's sad. You're so sad. Can't make it better. You can help me my work. I could guilt you into like you know. Uh. Assisting me? That's manipulation! Oh no, she's too smart. Any clean yet? She, she's, she's always clean. I don't think she's clean though. Just like... Love. Tomato sauce on her. Uh, let's see. You want a doll? You like this doll? Will you kill me for it? Oh no. Well, no. Hmm, she's got some sharp teeth there. It's interesting. Good. You killed my doll. I, I spent 20 bucks on that. Come on. Let's play with the ball. Yeah, see ya, Nanosis. Thanks for, st thanks for stopping by. Feed her the carrot. Feed her the carrot. Interesting. No, um... Uh, you know, what she did with the doll... I wonder what she's gonna do with... The dog, I wonder. I guess we'll see. Now, oh no. <laughs> don't feed, don't give her dogs. Don't give her anything humanoid or any living things, I guess. She'll just eat them. With her sharp teeth, it seems like. Now we know. Put that in notes, I guess. Forty bucks down the drain, though. <laughs> but I'm bad. I'm sad because you ate my flower and my dog. It's okay. Every day gets better. Oh. If only you didn't <laughs> eat my presents. <laughs> they weren't meant to be edible. Want some blocks? I guess she's happy with the blocks. Just play with the blocks a little bit. That's all. Can't eat the blocks. So at the very least. She plays with them properly. You know sometimes I kind of just want to watch her just do stuff. But. I'm hesitant to do so because. Sometimes the meters go down too quickly. If I press talk, yeah. If I if I say talk there, it just stops it. I was wondering if I can interact with her before she does the knock knock joke, but, but yeah. Every time I try to interact with her, it, it just resets her animation. Play with the ball. Play with the ball. I 
a carrot? Have a carrot. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. You can uh, press X to access other options. The guide? I assume that's a tutorial. What's a journal? Okay. Name, type, level, likes, dislikes, work order. So name is knock knock. It's level 5. The type is not aggressive for now. It likes flowers. It dislikes dolls though. It also eats dogs. Interesting. So I guess these are the notes we have so far. Interesting. My flower? It likes flowers. At least she doesn't eat the flowers. <laughs> yeah. I assume the guy does yeah, this thing. Hmm. You know, it seems like giving her meat is not great. <laughs> Well, I guess it depends. I, I guess we'll see. I, I want to like do like a full run, I guess, quote unquote. But like, I guess we might experiment later on and see what happens if we do diff do things differently. Because if we if you only feed her meat, then her red meter will go all the way down. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Just singing. All right, have a carrot. Play ball. Play ball! <laughs> How are you? Uh... Do you want to talk? I like talking to you. You know what? I wish I looked like you. Then it'd be easier to go outside and play. It's not very fun to be stuck inside of this place. Uh... It is fun. You're weird. <laughs> okay. Never mind that, I guess. Now, that's interesting. That's like a different type of conversation that I don't, I don't always get. Mm. Oh, I guess because it's because when she's bored. I guess, yeah, it depends on her mood. Okay. Same thing again. What if I say it's not fun? I agree with you. Mm hmm. That's why you're like that, isn't it? You don't want to be stuck in here. Hope oh, you can get out soon. Am I like what? What do you mean by that? I don't know, not meat. Or that. Place the blocks. Though she, I don't know if she does anything with the blocks. She just, you know, holds it in her hand. I don't know if it makes her happy or not. Doesn't seem like it. It's just like, ooh, blocks. I don't know, it went up. I think it, it, it actually did make her happy. She gonna do another knock knock joke? No, she's gonna put a hand to the screen. Mm hmm High five. You do anything? No, no, she, no she's unhappy now. Uh-oh. <laughs> See, that's why I don't want to wait too long, because it's going to be very unhappy. I talked to her while she's unhappy. Hello there. Push. What do you want? I want to talk to you. Well, I'm not in the mood. Okay. Hmm. You're so mean. Drop this and drop that. I'm sorry. Better be meanie. Yeah, okay, so she does have different conversations depending on her mood. I keep her happy. Gotta bounce the beach ball. Want a flower? I guess you don't have to keep her happy, but you know. <laughs> I'm afraid that she'll murder me. Is a thing. If she can like summon doors out of nowhere, what else can she do, you know? She could probably like do a lot of things. Hey, another hundred bucks. That's a, again, horrible salary. <laughs> At least, I guess, you know, in modern times. But anyway. Hey, what's up? I like you. We're friends, right? 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 Right, 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 right. Mm hmm, mm hmm. What about left, though? <laughs> Remember, these subjects are not your friends. I guess, mm -hmm. write it down. 
as I die. Previous employee terminated. All credits and I shall be transferred over to you. Please use login credentials to sign in. Slider. Greetings, Slider. Your employee number is 980. Day will begin your first day. All right. Here we go again. We never get, we never actually need a cleaner, by the way, but still. Okay, so she escaped, I guess. She could could she have escaped this entire time? I don't know. Well, that's what happens when you're too nice to her. She just really wants to elope with you. But then you end up dying, I, I'm assuming. For one reason or the I don't know if she kills you directly, or maybe, you know, she tries to take you with her and then you get murdered by the organization. Maybe, I don't know. I see a handprint there, by the way. Can you clean that up? There you go. Hello there. How are you? Hmm. I'm good. No, it's not because of you. It's because of, when I do that, you murder me. Oh. Well, you should like being here with me. We're friends after all. No, we're not. Meanie. This this is the mean playthrough. Sorry. I have I have I must be detached and not be nice to you. Because otherwise I die. You want this doll? You hate dolls, right? She actually kills the doll. So I'm assuming maybe it makes her not happy? Not sure. Mm, I'm really the same though, it seems like. What's her name? Don't give name. No. Fine. What's your name? I'm Slider. Now, what's your name? Give me your name. Why not? Uh, then you'll leave. It's just how my job is. I know, but it's no fun. I don't like being stuck here. No one comes in here and plays. You stay out there. Uh, I'll come in and play? That sounds like a horrible idea. It's for safety. But I'm safe. You're lying to me. I mean, she is, actually. She is not so safe after all. Hmm. Interesting. What else can I do? Let's see, what's her name? Don't give name. Oh, okay. It, it doesn't go F. Wait, no, no. What's her name? Okay, I have to give your name first. And then we go through a conversation like this. Give me your name. I don't wanna. Still how my job is. Then I'll come in and play. You will? Sure, why not? Yeah, come in. Is that like I wonder is that I wonder if that if, if I if that does anything. Okay, she just kills me. Good. Thanks. Great. Oops. I guess I wasn't mean enough. You know. Well, it's not just about being mean, but also being dumb. How about I try I try being not dumb this time? Employee number 219. Take good care. Hmm. Oh, blood. Alright. <laughs> you know, it's funny. The cleaning part isn't cleaning her. It's just cleaning the room, I guess. Good. Cool. And also, what happens if she's sad? Let's see. What if I talk to her when she's sad? Curious. I push her. I need to do my job. You're so mean. Job this, job that. I need to work. What about me, huh? What about my feelings, you know? <laughs> Not important. Which is awful. It's fair you're out there and I'm stuck here. Let me out already. I don't like it here. You're lucky because you look like that. If you look like me, they find you easier. Okay. Well, that, that was just being mean, I guess. Hmm. Uh, I want to talk to you. Please, I don't wanna. Okay. See, I think I've exhausted all the branches, you know? Pretty sure. No, okay, I didn't want to do that. Push. I need to do my job. Uh, I think I did that already. I need to work. Yeah, if I say I'm sorry, I think I did that already. And then now you say I'm sorry. What happens with that? You better be. Okay, that's it. Nothing changes. Alright. Hmm. Uh, 
wonder what happens if she's sad the entire time. She always likes to do that. It's like a little window or like a camera. It looks like a you know you see the the way the screen kind of curves. It's kind of like a kind of like a TV screen. Those old school TV screens. All right, the meter is all the way down. What happens if the meter is all the way down? Oh, okay. She just kills me. Good. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Cool. I, I was just wondering, you know, what happens. But I guess it just murders you. Again. You just do that every single time. Hey, number 77. Lucky number 77. Alright, more blood. Last guy didn't do so well. Let's clean up the room, I guess. <laughs> um, let's see. You know, I was wondering what happens if... Let's see. What if the red meter goes all the way down? I don't know what that means, but... Let's try doing that. He's happy, though, if I keep playing with her. Hee <laughs> hee. So fun. It's so fun to play with this ball as I destroy her, like, red meter. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, what happens if you do that? It's her stamina. So it just ends the day early. 250 credits. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I have employee shop. So it's interesting. Okay, so if you want to, like, end the day early, you can actually just tire her out. You know? That's like a strategy, I guess. But actually, you know, number 77 is lucky, even though he didn't do a very good job. Hmm, okay. Kind of restarts the dialogue for her. Well, I have a- I think I buy enough to buy a camera, I think, right? Now, obviously, there's the mystery presence, but... I guess we'll wait on that. I heard you've been working with a new... subject. And to tell you the truth, those things scare me. I heard it's dangerous working with those things. I heard someone, someone died. Please be safe. Oh, well, it was, um, I actually don't remember the number, but I was going to say, you know, that was slider 280 or something. I don't know. I can't remember. And eh, it's all just numbers. Yeah, someone died. It's just part of the job description, you see. Time to rest. Yeah, if you end a day early, though, I guess you don't get, like, your 100 bucks. <laughs> I guess you get less than that. So, if I want to save up for the super present, I'm going to save up some money. Work hard today. Alrighty. Well, how do you feel about this camera, actually? Mm-hmm. Cool. Alright. I look at my journal, I guess. I just took a picture of her. That's it. Basically, that's it. Name is Knock Knock, level 5. Dangerous, likes flowers and hits, hates dolls. Hmm, that's basically it. I heard some of the things we bring in can impersonate employees. I hope the new one isn't like that one. Sus, imposter. It is? Oh man. I know there's one out there that disguises itself like a scientist. I heard it escapes a lot. Hmm. I wonder if it disguises it as, as you. Max, maybe you're the imposter. Hey, uh, be careful out there. After, well, uh, after work, I'm gonna go on a walk with my dog. You have any plans? Oh, that's okay. Sometimes not having plans is nice. It means you can just relax. Alrighty, so I think we have finally have enough. 320 credits, I have 340. I'd like to buy the special present, please, Max. As a sort of thanks for buying so much, I, uh... Well, this is a f for free as a gift. You've been working really hard. This job isn't easy, I know. Honestly, it's really scary. But you've been surviving well. Good luck your next shift. I got some sweets for the subject. Interesting. And, you know, Max is gonna go walk... Walk, uh... Her dog, I guess. Also, Nick? Who's Nick? I don't know who Nick is. I guess we'll never know. 
Alrighty. So I guess we bought we bought all the items in the employee shop. I guess we got sweet. So that those that answers my question of like what the third slot of the feeding option was. I guess this candy. You can give her candy, I guess. Work hard today. Hey, you want some candy? Have a lollipop. Uh, but she doesn't want it. Okay. I guess, uh, yeah, okay. It's to increase the stamina meter. Interesting. I guess if you want to, like, spend more time with her. Isn't that a bad thing, though? I remember my literally my first run, if you're too nice to her, then she kills you. So, <laughs> Or, you know, you end up as collateral when she escapes, I'm, I'm assuming. So I guess that's the option. I mean, I don't imagine it does anything, but, like, I just want to see what happens if I feed her. I guess I got play of her to decrease her stamina. In a way, it's actually the most efficient uh, food, actually. Because if you, if you have the meat and the lollipop, you basically keep our meters full indefinitely. Basically, you know, cheat mode. Feed. Yum. Delicious candy. Oh, she probably likes that, too. Let me check. Level 5. Danger. Likes flowers. Dislikes dolls. Oh, actually nothing new. Okay, interesting. I saw the uh, pencil symbol, so I thought there's new stuff here, but I guess not. Hmm, strange. But, you know, I gave her some lollipops, I guess. Well, anyway, time for the th what we really want is to open this up. What's this? What's the mystery present? Hashtag SCP uh, Loot Get. Special. Cannot use this now. Oh, interesting. Huh, I wonder what it means by that. Not sure. I will feed you this. Okay, so it's not over yet. I thought it was going to be like over as soon as I use it or something. No. Oh. Mm, yes, we are. We're best friends now. You should stay here with me. So much fun together. Are you gonna kill me or something? Okay, I think she's gonna kill me. All right. Cool. Thanks. Congratulations! Slider, 77! Lucky number 77! On a successful work day. I went for 9 days. I have 220 bucks. You have a firearm in your possession. We must confiscate it as firearms are against company policy. Oh, that's too bad. I guess that's what the special uh, present was. It was a gun, <laughs> as it turns out. Hey, did you hear the gunshot from your desk? Oh, hi there, I hope work's been going well. Okay, same thing. Nothing else. No more guns in stock, unfortunately. You know, she, you know, she was trying to be my best friend. I had to shoot her in the face. Unfortunately. Oh, well, time to rest. You work hard and survive the day. If you're gun. The power of gun. Hey, how do you feel about that? Knock, knock. She's fine. <laughs> it's like, the gun doesn't stop her. Oh, interesting. Okay, I, I didn't realize. You can, like, do this. Okay, it wasn't very obvious in the UI that I can turn the page, by the way. That's interesting. Okay. So it's diet, it's meats and vegetables. <laughs> this, whole, this whole time, I didn't know this. But uh, it's diet, it's meats and vegetables. Some people seem to enjoy sweets. Yeah, because I gave her some sweets that one time. Subject is given a ball for enrichment purposes to play with. Its abilities are shape-shifting, matter manipulation, and super strength, regeneration, because I shot her and she's fine, uh, escape information. After two, sub or after two hours, subject was found impersonating an employee it had murdered in its unit. Oh, is that what happened when we became best friends? Uh, the employee in question had their body mutilated beyond recognition. Okay, that's what happened. So that's how she can impersonate an employee. She needs to eat them, I guess. Subject seems to roam around its unit when not being worked with. Subject seems to be able to materialize a wooden door within this unit. And then them, a door, and bleh, seems to have disappeared. Door's description matches current door. Hmm, 
the current door in her house, maybe? Subject seems to hum a song when left alone for long periods. Subject seems to enjoy long conversations. Subject seems to be waiting for something while supposedly looking to the camera. Unsure if the subject has actual eyes, but I feel it watching. Subject seems to enjoy knock-knock jokes. Okay. Guess that's it. That's all the observations I have. Really? I don't know if there's anything else. Really. Alright, so I did everything I could to try to uh, trigger the ending for this game. It's actually been weeks, <laughs> as it turns out. Um, at the end of the day, the only thing I seem to have been missing was, um, you see this folder here? Is uh, the work order. You know, it says here, work order. Keep subject, knock knock, well fed, mildly entertained, to do not overindulge it. Let it keep itself occupied from time to time. Failure to do so will result in death. You know, which is very like standard, really. But this basically I should unlock if I, you know, uh, basically trigger every other little thing involving her, which I did, but yet it did not trigger the ending for some reason. So what I ended up doing is literally hacking the game in order to manually play the ending. So here we go. I think I can finally end this, even though on, on YouTube is probably going to be, you know, five seconds, <laughs> you know, I'm just going to like cut to this part of, uh, but it took a lot of effort to do this. Anyway, let's finish work finally. A little glitchy as well, but I think I fixed it. Okay, here you go. Wowzers. That sure was a day, wasn't it? Looking forward to a nice weekend away from here. Good job surviving working with it. I know not everyone was so lucky. But of course, it was as easy as it can be. <laughs> That's us, I guess. Working with, sub uh, working with such subjects is as easy as pie if you know what you're doing. Well, glad you made out in one piece. See you on Monday, Slider. See you Monday, Max. Well, another successful workday. Off to go on a little adventure. Hey, have you seen Subject 1089? Its cell door was wide open when I went inside to work and there's remnants of employee 456. Shit, which one is 1089? It's the one that thinks it works here. You know, the one that looks like a scientist but isn't. Slippery fucker keeps getting out. If it manages to get outside, who knows what'll happen? It'll be our job, so that will happen. Oh, come on. Hopefully it's still in the building. Alright, there you go. A little, like, uh, beeping sound. Which I think usually plays when, you know, Knock Knock escapes, right? So, I guess, uh, okay, so the ending, I think, implies that uh, this entire time, um, we or us, or me, or whatever, the employee, the player, was never really the real employee. Maybe they were actually... You know, Max mentioned actually a few times in the dialogue, she mentioned that uh, there was a creature that impersonates people. And you think that's knock-knock, right? But actually, maybe there's one that does it well. And maybe that was us. I'm assuming that's the subtext here. So, you know, you realize as well, if some of the dialogue you get from uh, Knock Knock, the SCP, I guess, um, she says that, uh, you know, if, if only she could be like us, you know, you think that you, initially you think that you could be like a human, right? But actually, she, she seems to word it weirdly. But I think that's what she means. She means like us as in like we're really good at hiding as like a human. We're disguising ourselves as a human, you know? So that's a good, that's an interesting little twist there. All right, finally, I'm done with Monstrosity again on the YouTube video. It's gonna be like two seconds, but like it actually took me weeks to finish this game only because for whatever reason, no matter what I did, I, 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 I triggered all the variables and yet I still couldn't like, for some reason, the game wouldn't go to like the ending screen. I don't know why. It's all just for, the, you know, just the conclusion. That's all I wanted. You know, I, I'm such a completionist. I, I want the ending, right? But I never got it. Anyway, I, I tried so many things. But, uh, well, aside from that, um, from that little, like, detour that I did, you know, my whole little adventure, um, so what do I think about the game? So the game itself, really great. I, I, 
I mean, again, it's been weeks, but I'm trying to remember. The game is like, yeah, it was really great. Cool aesthetic. Uh, I like how it's like SCP inspired, you know, but still kind of unique in its own way, right? It's, I think it's a, what was it? It was that game. It's called uh, Lobotomy Corporations, kind of, kind of really based on that, which in turn, you know, is also based on SCP, but you know. Um, yeah, it's really cool how it's kind of like a virtual pet simulator, but also obviously the pet itself is, is not exactly a nice pet. It's uh, literally a monstrosity, right? So I really like the theme. Um, I like how the uh the main character i guess which is knock knock uh, you know um is i don't know just creepy but cute i don't know maybe am i weird i th i think knock knock is pretty cute despite her like you know appearance and how horrible and bloody and violent she is though i guess i guess it is implied that maybe she doesn't kill you directly i'm not sure if she kills us directly again it depends on how you think about it i guess it could be that She's been killing all the employees beforehand, and the last employee you got was the impersonator, maybe? I'm not sure. Or maybe you were the impersonator this entire time, and every time she escapes, you know, like, she's your best friend or whatever, it's actually true. She is your best friend. Like a fellow monster, and you two escape, you know, uh, together each time, but they get caught, and then, you know, sent back to, like, uh, the research facility, and the loop continues, right, is the idea, maybe. And of course, she never really, you know, every time she escapes, she never really dies. Because, uh, as it turns out, if you shoot her, you know, she, if you remember the journal, uh, it has the regeneration ability. So she just is invincible, I guess, uh, for the most part. But anyway, yeah. So again, cool idea, neat design. Um, gameplay loop is, for the most part, in the beginning was fine. I think it was kind of cool to explore um, all of the little things you can do over. I mean, that's, I guess, you know, that's a typical, like, Tamagotchi kind of game to interact with the actual, you know, virtual pets, I guess. Um, the only thing I don't like about it, you know, eventually you kind of, like, exhaust your options, though, especially dialogue. That, that's my, uh, well, like, it's one of my gripes is that uh, dialogue seems to loop, which I kind of don't like. Uh, maybe that's in keeping with theme of the whole virtual pet thing, but um, I wish she would acknowledge that you talked to her already. You know, for example, if you already, you know, got her name you don't need to introduce yourself again you know unless you maybe the employee dies and you you know you have to and then you have to introduce yourself again but otherwise it just felt like weird like groundhog day um but maybe that's the point i don't know but it felt like in terms of talking the talk option just felt useless once you've seen all the dialogue it's kind of like you can't use it anymore it's, and again it repeats too much right even if it's even like um built into the design that you kind of want to learn more about uh, knock knock but you still have to go through the same branch again and again you know hello what's your name hello what's your name hello what's your name you know like three times at the very least just to see the different branches of dialogue i feel like you know there's no need to do that um because it's redundant you know i feel i feel like it would maybe feel more natural i mean it's maybe more complicated to do so but it would feel more natural if you would just skip those initial questions if you already asked them once Something like that. Or a skip button. I don't know. But again, this game's actually made in RPG Maker. Um, I know this because I literally, <laughs> again, I, 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 I hacked the game. Quote unquote. Not really. I'm not like, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really like a hacker, I guess. But um, I, li I literally just went into the game files and, and edited my save. So, sort of. Um, but yeah, anyway. RPG Maker game. Probably be easier to do those branching paths with like a RenP engine or like a engine like more, more like for dialogue i guess so it's maybe harder to do an rpg maker uh, but yeah I, I wish there was less redundancies in terms of the, of the dialogue um uh, that's um yeah i i think it's a pretty neat game low like um mini game i guess um i guess uh, my only my re only real complaint and it's kind of like i don't know it's just me but like apparently i don't know for my copy of the game i guess i can't finish it <laughs> normally i literally had to go extra lengths to like trigger the ending i don't know what it was maybe i'm cursed maybe the copy of this game is cursed um and you know for some reason i couldn't do it uh but yeah i don't know <laughs> it's weird um <clears throat> but other than that other than that <clears throat> I, I actually really like this game you know um i really like the the uh I don't know just overall you know it's like uh, it's cutesy sort of but you know cutesy horror and uh has a, a neat idea behind it 
Uh, what else do I want to say? Music is fine too, I would say. Um, it was interesting. Talk to Max, you know. There's like a little bit of like backstory as well that kind of is like implied through the story. You know, I say story, but you know. It's a lot of like, I, I want to say flavor text, but it's not really flavor text. But you know, it, it started out as kind of like flavor text. But it's kind of like, you, you try to learn about the background of the world as you uh, interact with uh, Max and like knock knock and stuff like that you know you, you kind of like there's a lot of implications you know, a lot of like um I guess what the word is subtext you know um yeah I don't know really good I, I also like how it uh despite it being you know very much inspired by SCP and stuff I, I think it kind of like stands on its own you know I, th I think that's what's cool about it despite uh uh sh being very much heavily inspired by something it's still like is unique in its own way which i like as well you know it tries to still be like its own little story so you don't really need to know what scp is to enjoy this right so i, I like that too anyway overall great game the only thing about it for some reason i got a cursed copy i guess but there you go that was it for monstrosity finally on my end anyway it took a long time and uh yeah i don't know I'll just i'll just sign off as usual so I guess uh, if you're on YouTube, you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch, so check me out over there if you're interested. I also have other videos on the channel, so you can look for those if you want. Um, technically, I guess I'll upload this video before the other games, but technically I am from the future, so I know I will play other games from this developer, actually, and I like those too. Um, especially, well, the one that's coming up is um, called Reach, so, uh, you know... I guess look for that you know reach is a good game from the same developer i'm gonna do that one too uh i guess it's weird because i'm from the future i already did it but you know but i'm not gonna do it yet until i upload this video and then the other one will come up later i don't know anyway it's confusing time paradox anyway thanks for watching until next time see you then